yeah let's start so last time we discussed this Berglund Hubisch Hellingson duality so let me record it when I have this uh, invertible polynomial then I mean so this is uh, just written in this way so if I have this uh, an invertible polynomial written in this way j from 1 to n x to d xj e ij then I can define so-called uh, Berglund Hubisch dual of this invertible polynomial this is nothing but just to i from 1 to n ci product j go from 1 to n and x and I take transpose of this matrix so e j i and uh, there is a symmetric group so g f which is uh, defined in this way so I have this uh, lambda 1 to lambda n in sista n and uh, f lambda 1 x1 lambda n xn is just f x1 to xn so I have a symmetry of this polynomial and then whenever I have a subgroup in this group then I can define a dual group which is defined just defined in this way um, gf over g and c star so in this case I can there is conjecture by Berglund Hubisch and Hellingson the conjecture is nothing but this f g is mirror to this transpose polynomial and uh, its dual group so yeah so this was yeah conjecture by uh, Bob and Hubish Harlingson and uh, yeah we saw that in hot theoretic level this uh, there is a OB for the exponent and then the mirror symmetry holds in the hot theory level and uh, so one can how can I say have a homological mirror symmetry version of this uh, mirror conjecture so there's a conjecture by Kahashi say that if I consider a graded matrix factorization then this is equivalent to this I will explain this group uh, this category later but in the category level there is a uh, equivalence of this so I mean in category categorical level so Takash conjectured that sorry this, uh, I, I will explain this category later but this homotopy category of uh, graded matrix factorization is equivalent to yeah, the class either category of this dual. So, yeah. And uh, indeed, uh, in fact, he conjectured more. So he, how can I say, conjectured that there is a category. Uh, I mean, there is some kind of keyboard some kind of keyboard, keyboard representation, so some kind of keyboard, keyboard, so, and relation, such that this is uh, some kind of C, I, module, and uh, so this, this indeed, uh, these two categories are equivalent to certain representation of keyboards, keyboard category of keyboard representation, and uh, yeah, he ha had this conjecture. So today, I wanna discuss this uh, B side. 
category in detail. Okay, so that's my goal. Okay, and uh, in order to explain this one, let me record the definition of a matrix factorization. So, yeah, we have grading here, but let me start from non-grading case. So, definition, okay, so then let S be a regular local link. So, most of the case, this, in this talk, this might be, so S is something like C, something like this, uh, x1 to xn, or uh, c, this is a formal, formal power series. So, yeah, most of, I mean, we mostly consider these two cases. And uh, so, the let f be a non-zero element in here, then, yeah, I can consider this, uh, this caution train. Then, uh, definition is the pair of scale matrices. This S direct term to the N and uh, this f0 and f1 so this f1 and f0 and f1 are scale matrices so this pair of two scale matrices f0 and f1 satisfying so if i how can i say compose this map and this map then this map then this must be identity uh, uh, sorry f times identity and uh, if i compose the other way then this is uh, when when i compose this function and this function or this function and this function if both of them are f times identity then i will call this pair of scale matrices a matrix factorization so a pair is is called a uh, matrix factorization. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Right, right. Thank you, thank you. Right, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, anyway, yeah, I compose this one and this one, or this one and this one. If both of them are f times you know, identity, then I will call this a matrix factorization. And so I will consider the category of matrix factorization. So, yeah. So, morphism between this pair f0, f1, and this g0, g1 is, so I mean this f0, f1 means that I have this, uh, this uh, matrix factorization, and f1, and the g0, g1 means I have some other matrix factorization. if there is a map, vertical maps such that this, I mean, and uh, if this are all commute, then yeah, I, yeah, then I will say this is a morphism from this matrix factorization to this matrix factorization. So it's a pair of morphisms. looks like this one. 
Yeah. So, for example, we can So the baby example maybe is the following. So if I have, for example, when S is C, for example, X, sorry, this is, this is formal, a series of X and uh, let X to be, sorry, F to be X to the L plus one then you know then I can okay yeah I have this C S so S to S to S so if I have this X to the you know, J and X to the L plus 1 minus J then you can see that this is obvious on matrix factorization of course and uh, in other case, if I have this S is X, I mean this uh, X Y, and uh, for example F is X to the yeah X scale plus Y to the M plus one, then let me suppose that first N is odd. In this case, then there are several matrix factorization I can explicitly construct. So first, I can first because n is odd, I can decompose f in this way, y to the two, you know, and plus one over two plus yeah i times x and uh, y to the m plus 1 over 2 minus x, I can decompose my, I mean, f in this way. So then, yeah, I can, yeah, and I can define my n plus minus to be this, uh, oh, sorry. Okay, I can first decompose f in this way, then I can use, I mean, I can decompose, I mean, I can, de because I can decompose f, so I have uh, this similar map, but I can also construct uh, a map looks like this one, so x, y, j, and uh, y, and plus 1 minus j, and uh, negative x, and uh, again x, y j y and plus one minus j negative x and the s scale and uh, you can check that this is this form of matrix factorization because x y j y and plus one minus j negative x and uh, x y j y and plus one negative j and x. If I compute this one, then you can see that this is x scale plus y to the m plus 1, and this is 0, and this is again 0, and this is, uh, yeah, same. So f, this is f times identity. Is there any question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two by, two by two matrix, right, right. So, yeah, this identity means that identity of this uh, S2. Yeah, sorry. But the whole factorization is for the uh, one dimensional. Yeah, this is a one dimensional. I mean, so here this is one dimensional factorization, but here this is uh, you know, two by two. It can be any, any indeed, the n by n matrix, right, right. So, this is why this we call it matrix factorization, not just factorization. Yeah, so yeah, I hope this is clear. So anyway, we can 
have this uh, this kind of matrix factorization. Then I want to consider a category of matrix factorization. So I mean we define matrix what is matrix factorization and morphisms between them. So I want to consider a category of matrix factorizations. So in the some uh, in some sense I want to classify this matrix factorization. So best way to do this is to I mean consider a kind of a kibo. So let me how can I say? Ah, sorry, but uh, I, I, sorry, I forgot it. So, yeah, indeed, uh, I have this morphism. So I have this uh, category of, you know, matrix factorization of F. But I can define a homotopy category. So this is category of matrix factorization. I mean, the objects are matrix factorization, and morphisms are, you know, maps like this one. But I can also define so-called homotopy category of matrix factorization. So how can I do that? So, so I, you know, I just, uh, yeah, objects are the same. Objects are the, the it, this, the object of this category is the same as object of this category. But morphism is, you know, this, uh, so I, morphism, home of this, uh, you know, this uh, F0, F1, and G0, G1 of this uh, homotopy category is nothing but home of uh, the same one modular some equivalence relation and homotopy is defined by this way so i mean the homotopy is i i have a map from here to here and here to here and if the difference between two morphism is same as this one plus this one then i i can define some homotopy and uh, so I can define homotopy category of matrix factorization. So then I want to, okay, this is what I want to understand. And uh, it turns out that these are so called uh, Kruschmidt category. So let me define, let me explain what it is. And uh, yeah, so definition. So Let's see the uh, C linear category. And the C is our crew Schmidt category. If every object object decompose into a finite yeah, direct sum of objects whose local endom endomorphisms are local. So we do local endomorphism rings. So if every object can be decomposed into objects whose endomorphisms are local, then I will say this category to be a Kruschmidt category. And then, whenever I have a Kruschmidt, this serial category, I can define so called the uh, Osland right and Kibor, right and Kibor of this category. So I will denote this by this gamma c. So let me define this category. So First, the object of uh, this uh, Oslander I uh, sorry, this. Uh, so I mean, whenever I have this Kruschmidt category, I can define this Oslander light in Kibo. So this vertex, so this is Kibo, so this is consists of uh, this vertex and uh, arrows. So this vertex of this uh, Oslander light in Kibo of this category is just nothing but, so this vertex corresponds to indecomposable posable objects in this C. And uh, this arrow, how can I define it? So 
a row. So whenever I have two indecomposable object, two indecomposable object in C, then I will define so-called irreducible morphisms between them. So <sighs> let me. definition so first so when I when I, well, I have these two indecomposable object I can define so-called uh, this uh, yeah medical this is uh, because this is a C linear subcategory this is a subspace of this uh, yeah homomorphism space is the linear subspace of non invertible morphisms so i can i mean yeah this radical is nothing but you know this uh, subspace of non invertible morphism and i can define that is scale. So this is a subset of this uh, space. So this is a yeah a collection of object which uh, on morphism from X to Y, which factors through this uh, some object G, such that this morphism is belongs to this radical. And this morphism belongs to this radical. Sorry, this jet y. Then I can define this uh, lead scale, and uh, I can define so-called uh, irreducible morphisms from x to y. And this is nothing but you know this uh, lead c x y mod. Let's see, scale x, y. And uh, the arrow of this Oslander item keeper so is nothing but the see, number of arrows from this indecomposable object to this indecomposable object is nothing but dimension of this. Uh, you just suppose C X Y. Yeah. So this is the yeah definition of slender lighting keyboard. So is there any question so far? Okay, thank you. So okay, then I mean so Okay, what I what I want to say is that you know I I have this uh, polynomial, then I have this uh, category of a matrix factorization. I, uh, we can maybe put S here or not, and then anyway, I can have this uh, homotopy category of a matrix factorization, and uh, because this is Kruschmidt category, I can associate it this uh, you know this uh, Oslander item keyboard on this category. So I can explicitly, I mean, draw this, uh, I mean, this, I can explicitly draw this uh, Oslander item keyboard. For in this case, you know, whenever I have this, uh, I mean, I have this, uh, this uh, matrix factorization, and then, I mean, so let me write uh, this matrix factorization this way, x to the l plus 1 minus j, and then let me call it this function f0, and let me call this function f1, and then let's consider, I have, anyway, I have math f0 from s to s, and then I consider this coconut f0, in this case, this is nothing but cx to the xj. And uh, you can check that this is an uh, indecomposable object in this uh, ring, in this, uh, in this category. So, uh, no, no. So, I mean, so anyway, you can, you can uh, consider this, uh, 
Kokono, sorry, sorry, I, 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 I mean, sorry, I mean, I, I have this, sorry, this uh, matrix factorization, and then, I mean, anyway, for this case, I can, anyway, for any, for each j, sorry, for each j, I can, const I can, I have this matrix factorization, and uh, you can check that, anyway, this is some, in some sense, in decomposable object. Or, I mean, you can take Kokono, but then this is some kind of cohen McCullery module on this caution, but anyway. But anyway, you can check that this is in the composable object. So, for, in this case, let me call this uh, QJ. And then, I mean, you have this uh, Oslander writing Q bar this way. So, this Q1, Q2, QL, and uh, also, land right in Cuba looks like this one in this case. And for the second case, you can you can also draw a Cuba in this case. So let n plus minus be the S quotient y to the and one plus minus one x and then I mean and also I have this uh, yeah so this S two and this 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 function x y j y m plus one minus j x Sorry, this negative x as scale and take coconut. Sorry, so I mean this coconut is kind of quite macular module on this uh, RF. So this become a quite macular module on RF, which is nothing but S mode this on this hyper surface. And then let me call this. Uh, this uh, MJ, and you can check that claim. My claim is that you can check that n plus minus and uh, m zero to m. I mean, n over one to two are in the composable object. Then you can. Yeah, draw on Osland writing cube in this case because I have these vertices. So this uh, Osland writing cube is nothing but in this case this m n over one two and this uh, n negative and this n plus. So anyway, you can draw some kind of cube from this uh, category. Right. In the composable objects, uh, we need to refer to uh, the matrix. So yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I, I. Yeah. That's right. That's completely. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So sorry. I mean. So yeah. That's very good point. Thank you very much. So let me let me explain this way. So whenever I have this matrix factorization, you know, I have this. Uh, whenever I have this matrix factorization. Then I can, anyway, I can consider only one direction map and take this coconut. F0 and take coconut. Yeah. And then you can check that this coconut is kind of a coin macrory module on this hypersurface. This S question F. In, and then you can check that every coin macrory module arise in this way because quite macular module this this suppose that this has dimension kind of d and this rise in high and uh, okay I, I have this hypothesis i mean this is dimension d and this is a dimension t minus one so by oslander book theorem every quite macular module has projective resolution over the length one so whenever i have this quite macular module on this hypersurface, then i can have this uh, this uh, resolution 
of this. Uh, I can always find the resolution of this coil McCurry module. So in this sense, I can identify some kind of coil McCurry module up to some, I mean, some kind of, uh, yeah, modification. Anyway, I can roughly modify this coil McCurry module hypersurface with uh, this matrix factorization. So, and uh, so I, sorry, I use this indecomposable in both sense, but indecomposable means, indecomposable in strict sense should be indecomposable in this homotopy category of matrix factorization, but I can also use this uh, indecomposable in this coil macrolary module sense. Yeah, sorry, I, 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 I made something very confused. So in any case, I can always write down this also and write in keyboard in, yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, in some sense, I mean, if this keyboard is not always the keyboard we want, but anyway, we uh, need to see some kind of appearance of keyboard in some sense. Okay. And then let's go back to yeah, this homological mirror symmetric conjecture. So I can So this is uh, anyway a uh, very rough introduction to this uh, matrix factorization and uh, let me go back to this uh, homological mirror symmetric conjecture so again this uh, conjecture of Takasi say that this uh, matrix factorization well I I already explained this at a soon so this is some db of c, some some relation module, and this is derived category of Fukaya uh, side category of this Bogland Hubish dual. And this is conjecture, and indeed this was proven for many invertible polynomial these days. But okay, I will explain this later. And in any case, let me explain, okay, what is this RF? So this RF is nothing but some kind of a grading. So this RF, let me define this way. So let F, sorry. So let F be, this F is an invertible polynomial. So let me write this uh, F in this way, A, K1, Kn. So I mean, let me, how can I say, write this uh, f as a sum of monomials. And then this f is nothing but the uh, group. So this group is first a uh, free abelian group generated by this. This is just formal symbol, corresponds to this xi. And uh, so I mean this uh, arrow xi is nothing but just a symbol. And then this g f and modulo i. How can I say for each non-trivial? If I have this non-trivial monomial, then for each monomial I how can I say give some relation. So for each monomial I give this relation. So from here to here k i. Xi. So when f is an invertible polynomial, this is a length length one abelian group. So okay, and uh, so so in any case, I have this uh, grading, and uh, yeah, then. S, let S be your, you know, this uh, C, X1, Xn. Then this, there is natural grading on this S. So I can write this S to be, uh, I, this, uh, I can consider this natural grading on this, uh, yeah, this, uh, Polynomially. 
Okay, and uh, okay, so then let so this I can I I I this uh, polynomial link has a gradient, gra natural grading. This L, L becomes a grading on this polynomial. And uh, let M be RF graded S module. Then I can shift this grading. So this is nothing but, I mean, this uh, L prime is in RF such that L, L, L prime, well, I mean, I just shift the grading this way, uh, in, uh, in a usual way. OK, so then the definition is that on, on so now I, uh, now I have this Lenkron abelian group, an RF graded matrix factorization. of f is nothing but this, I mean, this uh, define quite similar. So it's uh, kind of uh, this uh, pair of two morphisms where this f0 and f1 are LF graded find a free sorry free S modules of finite rank ranks and uh, yeah similarly the composition and this composition is identity times yeah identity times yeah this uh, F, but because now, because my F has a grading, so I mean my uh, my F is gr uh, this grading of my F is you know determined by this uh, relation. So anyway, this F is on homogeneous element now with a non-trivial grading. So now this F zero is a yeah. This uh, degree zero homomorphism from F zero to F one, and now F one is uh, again degree zero homomorphism, but now from F one to F F zero, but I need a shift of grading in this case. Okay, and such that yeah, this F zero F zero is F times identity f0 and uh, now this f0 shift and uh, this f1 is f times identity f1 okay anyway yeah I, I just introduced this grading I mean whenever I have so I mean the situation is I have this invertible polynomial and now I have a natural grading a natural abelian group of length one and uh, then this S has this RF grading, and I just consider this uh, graded module and graded matrix, define this graded matrix factorization in this way. And uh, then, I mean, the other things are quite similar. I just, uh, you know, define this uh, grading, and yeah. And uh, then homotopy categories, okay. And I can define similarly uh, and uh, define morphisms and uh, I mean this uh, homotopy in a similar way in a usual way in usual way and you can for example look at paper of Olof and uh, there are very nice explanations and did I think he he was one of the uh, founder of this theory. So 
you can see yeah, all of this paper to have some references. Okay, so then I define yeah this uh, this. is there any question? Uh, any question? No. Okay, so then uh, yeah. So yeah, then okay. Let me give this definition of this uh, yeah the homotopy category. So uh, but before that, let me how can I say yeah yeah. I mean yeah we can okay. So anyway, we can okay. Then anyway, by this theory, we can anyway similarly define this uh, homotopy category of this graded matrix factorization. Well, yeah. But there are some other way to describe uh, this, uh, yeah, this uh, category. So I I can again define this uh, as this hypersurface. Then I mean I have this S and I module take I mean I module take quotient of S by this uh, principal ideal and this is RF graded ring and then I can define several category so this is a category of finitely generated RF graded RF modules and uh, uh, again I can define so called uh, so projective modules on in this uh, this uh, this yeah this uh, so I, I I mean I consider this finitely generated graded module and I consider this projective modules then I can define so-called uh, triangulated category of singularity again defined by Olof so this uh, I think this is by Olof and also I mean book that's he did he define so-called stable category but anyway this is quite uh, similar construction and then Anyway, I define this uh, triangulated category of this graded modules to be this considered this bounded derived category of this category F module, and uh, I take a quotient of homotopy category of this projective module. So I mean I consider this uh, projective modules in this uh, finitely generated graded module. So I take quotient of this uh, derived category by this projective. And uh, a theorem by Bukbats and Olof, they prove that this triangulated category of singularity is equivalent to equivalent category to the this uh, I mean this sorry this matrix factorization category is equivalent to this triangulated category of singularity defined in this way and indeed the functor is explicit so whenever I have this uh, this uh, matrix uh, factorization, then I just take uh, Kokono. But now I define so I, I, I this 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 functor from here to here is nothing but if I have this matrix factorization, I take this Kokono of F one negative 
F. Okay, so yeah, this is one way, another way to describe this, uh, yeah, this uh, category. So is there any question so far? Okay, thank you. So, yeah, in any case, so we have this theorem. So then let me explain some, I mean, so I mean, this is quite general result, but I have very explicit uh, description of uh, <coughs> this category. So let me, for example, give you example. So again, let AL, this is, uh, I mean, okay, F is, you know, C to the L plus one. And uh, in this case, this is, uh, the Bogolin Trubish dual is same as F. And then I have this RF, and this is, you know, by definition, this is G X plus G F modulo because I have one monomial. So this F minus L plus one X, I modulo, I mean, I, uh, I take this free abelian group modulo this, this relation. And indeed, this is isomorphic to G. You can check that because I mean, I mean, I have this map x to the 1 and this f to the l plus 1, then this is isomorphic. This gives me uh, this isomorphic. So this rf is isomorphic to g. And then, as we see, the, this has a very natural, the natural, how can I say, matrix vectorization, because I have this, this one and x to the j cx and uh, I have this x to the uh, plus 1 minus j so I have this natural matrix factorization let me call it in the qj and we describe this uh, Osland writing cuba so in, not, in some sense we can classify in the composable object in this character I mean this matrix factorization I mean so last time I mean maybe 30 minutes, 20 minutes late before, we, how can I say, draw a picture of this uh, Osland writing keyboard of non-graded matrix factorization. But anyway, now, now I, how can I say, give some grading by this RF. So anyway, but anyway, we can, anyway, how can I say, if I forget grading, then this should give some matrix factorization. I mean, this is, uh, this is a, how can I say, graded matrix factorization, but if I, even if I forgot the grading, is this should give some matrix factorization still. So in any case, this is a kind of, a, you know, this, uh, this, this should give some matrix factorization, and then I have this uh, vertex, and anyway, this, again, I can have this keyboard. So then, but this time the, there's kind of this grading gives a kind of direction. So in this case, when f is x to the L, then I have this Dinkin keyboard. AL. And the uh, theorem by Takashi. Tell me. Theorem by Takasi. And tell me this uh, graded matrix factorization category. And that's uh, graded by RF. And this graded matrix factorization is nothing but the bounded derived category of this uh, keyboard representation. And this is, again, and he even proved that this is, yeah, this Fukar side the category. This Fukar category of this F term. So in this case, homological mirror symmetry holds. And we can explicitly describe this, uh, yeah, 
category. And uh, in some sense, this is, uh, you know, yeah, this is somewhat quite natural because when I consider this F tilde, and uh, if I consider this, uh, for example, Miller fiber, and then, you know, if I consider this Miller fiber, then I can explicitly construct a vanishing cycle here, and then one can check that this is the case. And uh, even more is true. So there is a theorem by Kajira. Kajira and Saito and Takashi. So when S is two-dimensional link and F is of uh, ADE type, polynomial of ADE type, then they prove that this homological, uh, sorry, this homotopy category of graded matrix factorization is equivalent to this uh, derived category of uh, this Kiba representation. So the idea of proof is, uh, yeah. So first, uh, when, I, when I have this AD type, then it is known that how, how one can classify this uh, Osland lighting Kiba of this F. So I mean, I can somewhat, can this, how can I say? This uh, indecomposable matrix factorization is already classified. So then, from this data, they called so called they construct so called exceptional collection. So maybe I will explain this soon. So, so they construct so called exceptional collection, and then by analyzing the morphism between them, they have this explicit, uh, yeah, relation. So, let me define the notion of exceptional collection. Let T be a triangulated category. Then, on, on object E, T is exceptional if Sorry, maybe C linear. C linear triangle category. If an object is exceptional, if home E and E shifted by I is C, if I is zero and the zero, if I is non zero, then this object is called the exceptional object. And uh, on collection of exceptional, uh, sorry, a sequence E1 to EK of exceptional object is called an exceptional collection if home E i to E j is zero. Sorry, I, I need. I can allow any shift. Maybe. Uh, maybe m any shift is zero for every m and i greater than j. And they, whenever I have exceptional collection, and the. I don't know, maybe there is so called the strong exceptional collection, notion of a strong exceptional collection. And in any case, uh, if I have a strong exceptional collection, then one can say that, so full, indeed, full strong exceptional collection, let me not explain this one. Then one can check by Bondar theorem, you can check that T is equivalent to certain module, certain Cuba representation. Button Kiba with the relation module. So in any case, so from this case, they indeed we already 
No, what will be this? Because we know this uh, Oslander lighting keeper in this case. We know what is in the composable object in this case. And then they, using this data, they construct the so-called exceptional collection. And then they prove this uh, homotopy category. Homotopy category of matrix factorization is equivalent to this, uh, yeah, this, uh, yeah, keyboard representation. So, yeah, is there any question? Uh, yeah, if not, let me, how can I say? Maybe it's good time to stop and uh, maybe next time I will, yeah, show some example of exceptional collection in more detail and uh, discuss stability condition. And uh, maybe that's my, yeah, uh, that's the plan. So, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, okay. I, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the uh, which one and all of the results is just uh, categorized, yeah. the equivalence of the categories between the uh, homotopy, yeah. the factorization, and the singular derivative? Yeah, 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 right. What, what is the relation of that several and this Takahashi's uh, is, is he using the result to prove this one? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, how can I say? It's yeah, this is, a, how can I say, another way of, uh, yeah, right, right, thank you, thank you for the question. Indeed, uh, yeah, this is another, sorry, this is, I mean, they, I think they, in here they didn't use this theorem. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, this is a... So, additionally, we have the third, uh, sorry, yeah, third equivalent. Yeah, yeah, we have, uh, indeed, we have two more equivalent categories. So, this is, this category is equivalent to this uh, triangulated category of singularity constructed by Olof and Bushbach. And uh, I mean, there is another category, so-called stable category of provenance pro category. So this has some kind of five uh, description in this case. So, yeah. And uh, because, I mean, because, you know, we have this, I have this S, I have this, uh, S and this is my hypersurface. And then all of the theorem says that I mean this. Uh, so this uh, one can describe this category also in terms of uh, you know this, this st stable category of provenance manifold, provenance sorry, provenance category of coin ma maximal coin macular modules of F. So this is another description of this category. And uh, this triangulated category of singularity, yeah, this is by all of. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, there are, I mean, sometimes these are easier. I mean, these, these, these descriptions are easier. And sometimes these descriptions are easier. So I, I don't know, maybe, yeah. For, for example, when I, you know, the, when I, how can I say, consider this AR Kibo, Kibo, then this description is very useful because coin macular module of a coin macular ring was intensively studied by many, yeah, you know, commutative algebra group. So this AR cube is very intensively studied object. So they use this in, in when they, they prove this one, they intensively use this AR cube. So yeah, and. Uh, this triangulated category of singularity, indeed, uh, we are using <laughs> this these these days. So that's why I mentioned this. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So these five equivalent category, yeah. Sometimes quite helpful. Yeah, yeah. To know, yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is any any other question? Yeah, then thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.